My name is Rachel Wilson, and I am a master's student at the University of Memphis. I am earning my master's in art history with a concentration in Egyptian art and archaeology, and I am also earning my certificate in museum studies. For the fall of 2020, I worked as a collections intern at the West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center, and I did in-depth research on all of the objects in the Hatchie River Room collection. Um, I also worked on condition reports on three of the objects and wrote articles on the mastodon fossils and the American um, freshwater mussels. So one of the aspects I focused on for the internship were the um, insects in the insect collection. Um, for these, I took photographs of each of the insects and I also did um, some research on them to write up descriptions and condition reports. Um, one of them is the giant water bug. These look kind of scary. They're very fast and they are little predators. They eat other um, aquatic insects. Um, they're very shy and while their bites won't kill you, they're a little painful. So be wary not to touch them. But you may notice if you are handling them because they are um, popular with collectors, they might smell like apples. Um, another object we have here is the caddis fly larva. This was interesting because when we first saw it, we actually thought that over time, some particulates had gotten embedded in them. Because if you look at it, it just looks like pebbles. We found out upon further research, this was actually something they do on purpose during their lifetime for safety. The larva will competitively fight for space in the river and they will attach to pebbles so that they can build their little cocoon around it and stay safe until they're ready to hatch. So one of the objects I did a condition report on was this prehistoric stone hand axe. Um, this was a challenge because as you can see, there are a lot of marks, but upon further research of um, the mechanical tools that were in use by um, early indigenous groups in the area, we discovered that most of these were done purposely during manufacture. Um, this would have been made as early as 10,000 years ago, by the groups that inhabited this area. Due to COVID, for the majority of this internship, I had to do it remotely. However, the condition reports allowed me to come in and work with these objects hands-on. So like the hand axe, um, the humerus bone of a mastodon is another object that I did a condition report on, which involves actually handling the object, which is great. Um, this one is in great condition. We did notice that there is some loss of material that you can see. Um, so this humerus bone belonged to the mastodon, and a fun fact is that West Tennessee actually inhabited the um, travelways of mastodons um, in the Pleistocene era, up to about 10,000 years ago. So the end of the last ice age caused massive climate changes, which eradicated the species, but this once was the walking grounds for some of our largest animals. Being able to do these condition reports in person at the museum was a huge um, opportunity for me and a skill I've always wanted to acquire was to be able to work hands-on with objects and take notice of these things that are so meaningful for the museum work. Um, especially during COVID, we have had to make a lot of changes in how we work with museums and doing internships. So this was great that I was able to still come in and work with these objects. So one of the interesting things I learned during my research for West Tennessee specifically is the Hatchie River has a great ecosystem for our freshwater mussels. So there is a great abundance of them and while they are endangered everywhere, as well as here in some respects, we have more and we have more variety, which has also made it a target of the pearl industry. So we have the most mussels coming out of here and their shells are used to make um, fake pearls, if you will, in the industries, which is very popular in the market. So this internship really allowed me to hone my research skills and allowed me to focus on specific and individual objects and categories um, and also to write descriptions that were more for a public audience in the museum setting. I also learned a lot about condition reports and how to um, do them, how to handle the objects and what to take notice of for the museum's records and how to photograph and handle the objects. The most beneficial part of this internship was that it gave me some real um, hands-on experience on what it takes to work with a collection like the Hatchie River exhibit. Um, I was able to do condition reports and research on very specific and individual things that were important to this region. So that gave me some groundwork for my future in museum work. I would really like to take all of that experience and apply it to my own work later on as I work for a museum.